Now, after intense pressure from many Democrats, President of the United States, Joe Biden, has finally dropped out of the presidential race, stressing that it is in the best interest of his party and the country. President Biden has now endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris to serve as a Democratic candidate. Vice President Harris has assured that she will earn and win the party's nomination. She says she was honored to receive President Joe Biden's endorsement and promised to do everything in her power to unite the Democratic Party. Over the past few weeks, questions have been raised about the stamina and mental abilities of the 81-year-old President of the United States, Joe Biden, as he sought to compete in a repeat of the 2020 election with Republican candidate, former President Donald Trump. Calls for President Biden to withdraw from the race began to grow after his debate in June against Donald Trump. But the president had insisted that he was fit to run and that he would not be stepping down from the race. I am running and going to win again. But in a statement posted in his social media account on X, he announced his decision to stand down and focus on the duties as president for the remainder of his term. And reactions have continued to trail President Biden's decision to drop out of the race. Former President Barack Obama expressed his support for the president and described him as a patriot of the highest order. Senate Democratic Whip Dick Durbin has praised President Joe Biden's decision to drop out of the race, saying he always puts country first. House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries also commended President Joe Biden for his decades of service and described him as one of the most accomplished and consequential leaders in America's history. Republican nominee and former president says President Biden, quote, was not fit to run for president and is certainly not fit to serve. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson has also called on the president to resign from office shortly after he announced that he would not seek re-election. For the Democrats, there is no question of the president's ability to complete his term in office. They have also commended him for dropping out of the race. And for more on this, I'm being joined by a global affairs analyst, Boye Akiyoku, to give his perspective on this latest development. Good to have you on the news at 10. So, four months before Americans go to the polls, President Biden announces that he will leave the race and backs his vice president, uh, Kamala Harris. Ma, did you see this coming or he saw, he saw it as a surprise? Good evening, Lagos, and thanks for having me. Um, yes, it came as a surprise. Um, I mean, it depends on where you're standing. Uh, it came as a surprise generally to everybody that he came, because uh, even as a last week, uh, President Biden was still insisting that he was in the race till the end. So that um, on that on those grounds, it came as a surprise. But it's not really a surprise looking at how fellow Democrats have been calling for Mr. Biden to step down and all that. So if you look at it from both sides, yes, you can see that you could have seen it coming, and also you could have said, okay, it's, 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 it's been shocking. Yeah, but it's making the news. Nobody expected anything to come out this afternoon, and um, from the blues, that news came out. So, yeah, on that, on that note, yeah, it's been shocking. Mm, indeed. And for Ms. Harris, we understand she has a strong name for the recognition of the vice president, but to some level of extent, she's kind of struggled with low approval ratings, uh, ratings rather, throughout her tenure as a, a vice president, but what are the odds now that she will be endorsed as the Democrats' candidate for the top job? Um, it's a long um, 29 days there about to the convention, and there will be a lot of moving parts. Um, everybody would have to come together and decide if um, truly they want um, Ms. Kamala Harris to be the, um, the, on, the, on the top of the tickets. But it's going to be an intriguing um, couple of days until that decision is made. But um, President Biden has given his endorsement for, for, for his vice president, and rightly so. Um, um, now, for the ratings, it's going to be a struggle for her because whatever applies to President Biden, everything 
because it's a joint ticket. They've run office for about three years. So anything that um, goes for President Biden in terms of ratings automatically transfers to her. So she's have to she's going to have to um, accept the the good things and the liabilities from from the current administration because she's seen as one as um, President Biden right now. And now that she's taking that position, who do you think would replace this, the ticket as vice presidential nominee? What are your guesses? Um, it's, uh, there's, a, there's a long list of um, candidates out there. We cannot really predict anything right now. It's still up in the air. There's still going to be a lot of talking back and forth. The donors will be calling themselves. The party leaders will be calling themselves. So it's hard to, to predict right now if uh, Ms. Harris is going to get it. Um, top of the ticket, and if she will have to pick a, a, a vice president candidate. So it's still all over the place. Um, it's hard to make any, any guesses right now. And talking about Ms. Kamala Harris, many have said, well, she might be the next female, first female president the United States would have. But do you see this? Do you think Americans are ready to have a first female president? What are your thoughts? Now, based on what we have seen in the, in the last couple of years, we had a front... Um, a frontline um, candidate in 2016 in the person of Mrs. Um, Clinton, she did not make it. Um, now, it's hard to say America is ready for a, a female president until it happens. And we have to add to, to that she is um, black and Asian. Is America ready for all that? Well, time will tell. Those are the conversations that will be going on right now behind the scenes, in the boardrooms, in the, in the donors' offices, in the the party leaders, that's what, we'll, that's what they are talking, I'm sure they are talking about right now. Um, by In another one month, we'll know if America is ready for that candidate again. And by November, we'll know if America is ready for a female black president. Well, that's a right, fine place to live with. Global Affairs Analyst Boye Akiokun, we appreciate your insights on the news at 10 tonight. Thank you, Thank you for having me.